Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. This is Jacob. Deepseek team has just released Deepseek R1 models to Olam. So they released 1.5B, 7B, 8B, 14B, 32B, 70B, and also the official one, which is on chat.deepseek.com, is 671B. So uh, you can see from the VRAM size, uh, the one uh, that's official uh, is 400 gigs. So that's too large, you can't test it. Uh, most likely only local, so but um, the 14B seems like a good option, and also the AB seems also a good option as well. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to test Deepseek R1 with Client 3.1 on Kaggle.com and also with the Google ATX. So that being said, let's get started. So if you want to try out the official way to test Deepseek API, just uh, go to the Deepseek.com with the platform and then top up the balance and then use the API. Uh, documented in their API docs, so you can see the base URL and API key, plug into client 3.1, then you can start testing. And uh, if you use Olama, as we can demo in this tutorial, just go to giga.com and set up Olama using these uh, scripts. So I also demoed this in the past tutorials. I'll quickly go through that uh, in this one. So first create a function to run bash command within Python, then set up Olama using this wireline command. And after that, make sure you uh, use the Olama host as 0000 and also Olama origin as a star. And then you can run Olama serve like this. After that, make sure you create a model file uh, to get the larger context window. So first we uh, use the uh, model file as the dipseek-r1 14b. The other one we use the dipseek-r1 7b. So both with the larger context window. Um, and after that, uh, we just do a Olama create using this model file and create the Deepseek R1 actual context 7B and the 14B. So uh, after you um, download all the models, you can run Olama list to check if they're indeed downloaded. So uh, basically right now you see they have uh, 7B and actual context 7B, 14B and actual context 14B. So that's it. And then after that, just make sure you set up engines to route the traffic to localhost 11434. So this basically allow the public traffic to go to the local um, Olama instance. So after that, make sure you set up ungrok and uh, paste the ungrok token uh, to the ungrok console and make sure you point the uh, ungrok public URL and to this um, an engine export, so which is 80. So you can see this uh, public bar is 5C779. This is the one that's running right now. So you can see if you refresh the page, those models uh, are installed. So you can see this uh, is a public URL. Let's refresh again. You can see that's actually available, right? And after that, just do a engine stop and start. So you can see the URL like that. So already set it up, so you can uh, see this is actually running. So after that, make sure you go to the ideas.google.com and also install client. So if you um, go to the extensions, then install client. And I've already installed, so you can see the version is 3.1.11. And uh, you make sure you can go to the client icon on the right side and then go to the settings of the client. Make sure you uh, select the provider as a llama and uh, plug in the base URL as the one that you set up. So in this case would be 5C79 and plug that in. So the model ID you can see is automatically populated. So we choose the Deepseek R1 extra contact 7B. You can choose the 14B as well. It's gonna be a bit slow. But, um, the 7B is a lot faster. Um, and also uh, just click down and that should be it. So you can test some of the uh, prompt like uh, create a landing page for any company. Make sure that landing page looks good and also modern and use inline HTML, CSS, and JS. So, so you can see something like that will pop up, right? So something like this will pop up and still running. And uh, you can also try it out, like paste it in uh, to this uh, HTML online viewer or any other place to try and uh, test it out. But this is how you actually test Deepseek R1 Olama and with the client 3.1. So that should be it. And if you, um, Want to try uh, again? Let's just remove that and try this again, right? You can see this is actually running, right? So you can also go to the Kaggle notebook, see the RAM usage is eight gigs of VRAM, 
and the disk is probably 18 gigs and the CPU is about uh, 42, uh, 42 gigs so that should be it you can see this is working with the um, Olama that we set up on Kega.com so hopefully this is helpful and if you do like this video please subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one